It's been a year since Kwasi family fled Afghanistan amid the chaos and the violence. And ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill brings us the family's harrowing journey to the U.S. and how a sense of home has been found in San Diego. Moving into a new home is the start of a new chapter. But for Masuda and Hamid Kazi, it's a chapter that's been a year in the making. So one year ago when the uh, government collapsed in Afghanistan, since we were working as a, with the international organizations and also with the government entity, and that's, uh, that, that was the reason that we left Afghanistan on August. The couple met in university. Both became well accomplished attorneys and worked in the U.S. Embassy in Kabul at one point in their respective careers. My last job was a public attorney or prosecutor with the counter narcotics uh, prosecution. But most importantly, they were raising two young boys. With the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan, the Kazi family received an email from the acting U.S. ambassador in Kabul that there were flights to get out of the country. We went to the airport just with one backpack with a, a small amount of the food. We just left behind everything, even our, all the stuff. We just locked the door and came to the airport. The family of four were able to get on a flight, eventually making their way to the Netherlands. There they waited for special immigration visas and green cards to be approved. They told us there will be a transition, short transition from there to United States. But unfortunately, that uh, transition took almost 10 months. But this June, they finally made it to the U.S. And after two months, taking a fresh start in their new home. As this family begins to pen the new chapter, along with a new baby girl, one thing's for certain, they'll never give up. We have a big dreams for my own self, for my kids, for our life. And uh, so we are optimistic for the life. And uh, I, I'm sure that we will have a good life here as well. And we will make it again. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.